This is the Galaxy S21 Ultra. And according to MKBHD Phone of the Year Awards, this was the phone of 2021. Do I agree? And who the hell am I? Well, I'm Kevin the Tech Ninja, and I'm gonna give you my opinions. A portion of this video was made possible by Bombas. Bombas makes some of the most comfortable clothing around. But beyond the clothing, there is a mission behind it by donating over 50 million articles of clothing to people in need. This is across all 50 states and major cities. So one item purchased equals one item donated, which makes me feel good about buying their clothing, but their clothing also feels really good too. So Bombas is known for their socks, but they recently added t-shirts and underwear too. Bombas motto is comfort for you and comfort for those in need, comfort for all. So me personally, I'm digging the socks. You know, when I come home, I take my shoes off and socks are very important for me. My feet feel really good in these socks. They're made great too. You know, when I run down the steps, they don't get snagged and caught and get holes in the bottom of them. Hit my links down below and check them out if you're interested in getting some comfortable clothing with a cause. The first thing I think we need to do is rewind and hear my final thoughts of the S21 Ultra in my long-term review. This phone is a fantastic phone. The builds, the function, the design, the execution is all top notch. Anything I mentioned as far as negative is just nitpicking on an overall amazing phone. Now that a few more phones have come out and some time has passed, do I still feel the same? And to be honest, I have an iPhone and I carry a Pixel mainly for its camera. But over the past week, I replaced my Pixel with the S21 Ultra just to see if this is the phone of the year. So I guess here are my updated opinions in sort of a mini review format, if that works. In the hand, the S21 Ultra is a very great feeling phone. Although it's a bit top heavy with the camera module, I do find it comfortable to hold. The phone feels premium and the screen is so smooth. I do think it'd be hard for anyone to deny how great it feels in the hand. Now, as far as usability, it is a large phone. And as you guys know, I don't really like large phones these days, but I will say for a large phone out of, out of the batch, it is the most comfortable to use. The edges are a little bit curved, which I don't find to be as annoying as say the Pixel 6 Pro's curved edges. So yeah, they're curved, but I think Samsung does it in a way where it doesn't get in the way of performance. You're not accidentally pushing other things. It kind of blends into the frame of the phone. You know, this phone is also packed with so much tech inside, but mainly the camera technology I find most interesting with its five cameras and it's featuring a 108 megapixel sensor on the back. It also has a 40 megapixel sensor on the front. Comparing this camera to other phones in the market, I still don't think it takes the best shots overall. I mean, the images are good, but it's still behind the iPhone and most definitely behind the Pixel. For video, Samsung is really good, and I think it's on par with the iPhone as of last year, but behind the 13 as of today. But I will say it is the most versatile camera. It has tons of shooting modes, it also is a 30x zoom with no quality loss and a 100x digital zoom. Although 100x doesn't produce anything usable, 30x still has been very practical for me over the year. I will say Samsung does have the best algorithm for outdoor photos when punching up colors and fantastic HDR. For human subjects, I still don't like what Samsung does with skin. I do find that they over smooth skin and still lighten skin, even with beauty mode turned off. Now for people of color, that is a big deal because a lot of cameras have a bias to lighten skin and beyond the sociological impact of that, it just doesn't make brown skin look attractive anymore as it tries to make it look something that it's not. And Google understood this with the pixel, giving people of darker complexion actual accurate skin tones and I think pixel does an amazing job with it. Here's a quick example of a selfie that I'm taking right now with my pixel and the Galaxy S21 Ultra. Although it might be a little bit subtle, being able to accurately depict yourself in a picture is a big deal for a lot of people. Once again, minus that annoyance that could affect people differently, I still like this camera. On the performance side of things, there is no question that this phone is an absolute performance beast. Samsung software has been optimized over the years and I think it is rock solid. When it comes to running day-to-day -day apps, of course it's fine, but what I love is when it comes to running games or high-end applications, 
this phone is a great performing phone. The processor inside is a Snapdragon 888 processor and it did experience overheating with a lot of phones. And the S21 Ultra, I wouldn't say was immune to that as it may throttle a little bit as you use it, but the raw performance typically powers right through that and the throttling doesn't occur often and most people would never experience that in the first place. Battery life on the S21 Ultra has been an all day phone and that is typically all I could ask for. I do find it a little bit better than the iPhone 13 Pro Max in my experience, but if you ask someone else, they may say the reverse. But it really just depends on the way you use your phone. Regardless, both phones have amazing battery life, and I would say when I'm going to bed after using the S21 Ultra all day, I have around 25 to 30% of battery, whereas on the iPhone, I'm typically at around 15% to 20% on the 13 Pro Max, which again, in my use case, the way I use my phones, I am more than happy with that. I guess the most impressive thing with this phone is that even after a year, this phone still stacks up to the competition and surpasses it in a lot of ways. The S21 Ultra could come out today as a new phone and it would still be one of the best phones of the year in the coming year, which is really amazing to think about. But anyways, guys, those were my thoughts and my opinions. Was Marquez right by saying this phone is the phone of the year? I'd have to agree. This phone is fantastic. I said it when I first used it and I still agree with that today. Anyways guys, it's Kevin the Tech Ninja. I'll talk to you guys later. Peace.